Hey guys, Mr. Wahidul Haq here, back with another video. Today I'm going to be unboxing this uh, Seconda watch. Uh, it's currently on H. Samuel on sale for £40. From 100 I think, or somewhere near there. So it's a really good offer right now. So go ahead and look for that if you want. Okay, so... This is a weird... When I first saw it, I was like, wow. Because I've got another Seconda watch, if you watched it, from like four years ago. There's no, there's no glass thing where you can see through. That's a really good design there, how you can see the watch through the box. So I'm really liking that. So this one, you can actually see the watch through the box. So there's the watch itself, so it's a silver watch, as you can see. Okay, so it's a condo box. It's got like a matte feel to it, like the other boxes. And it's got a chrome ribbon running all the way around the box. If I look around here. Just a plain matte black box. Let's open this. I think that's oh that's quite I was expecting it to be cheap plastic but that's quite it's quite strong I like that then they got like a velvet feel here as you can see okay so this is the watch itself oh that's very cold okay so on the camera is showing up a bit purple in the middle but that's because of the flash it's not actually purple it's more gray than anything with a hint of purple maybe and uh, you got bronze faces and stuff as you can see really nice okay so the watch itself is silver so you got two tone silver here you are uh, normal chrome silver here and then a brush silver metal here okay what I don't like about these watches is they leave them running while they're just waiting to be sold so you never know what battery how long this battery will last my other one got replaced one year after, literally just one year after, so God knows how long this one will last, how long it's been on. Okay, we've got some white ribbon, white uh, paper there, I'm not sure why, we'll check anyway. Okay, let me take this out, let me take the paper out. Let's have a look. I think you get a two year warranty with this. It doesn't cover accidental damage though, what the, who the hell put this paper here? There you go. I think it's like a thing so they know that you've used it or something, that you opened it. Right, let's have a look at the whole watch itself. Oh my god, why have they put a sticker there? These people, man. Right, let's, let's have a close up first. Wow, I'm really liking this. It's very cold though. I've been sat there for a long time. Okay, let's have a look at this close up. Okay, so under 50 meters, so it's good for 50 meters water resistance. Probably not for a long time though. Okay, so you've got the clock face running there. 50, 60, 05. Does that say 10 or 18? 10. 15, 20, yeah, okay. Alright, in the middle you got the hours. 6 hours, 12 hours, 18 hours, 24 hours. There you got the date. That's pretty cool as well. And here you got the days. So... Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday and all that's on this side somewhere, so... Today we're on a Monday, so I guess it is correct. I don't think the time's correct, though, is it? Time is 5, 6... No, the time is not correct. Actually, I think they set this up before you get it. Because the time is 6.51ish or 6.52. And the current time on my phone is 5.52. But the time did change one hour back before, so... This must have been done recently, not too recent, but probably two months or three months ago. So I'm guessing the battery is about three, two, three months used, which is okay, I guess. It's not as bad as I thought before. Okay, that's okay. There's just a tiny cover there. Let me take that off. If I can take it off. Let me open this first. Oh, that's quite unusual. Look at this. It's not like the other one. This one's more premium figure out how you open it though with one hand <laughs> I think you push it in it's either you pull it or you push it in there can you see it's coming off yeah I think you just pull it off let's have a look there so you pull it up and then pull it Oop. okay that didn't go well all right so you pull it up and then just yank it out I guess I don't know the idea very hard with one hand, it's not that way. 
One second, guys. I will pause the video. Actually, I might be able to do it with one hand. Nope. I'm going to have to pause the video and do it. Okay, guys, I figured it out. So all you do is pull this one down. Simple as that. Not fun of that noise, but you know. Here's what it is. All right, let me try to take this cape. This protected thing off. If I can somehow. With one hand, it's very difficult. There's definitely a protector on there, 100%. You can see the marks and stuff on the red lines there. You can feel something. Yeah, there's something on there, definitely. Because I'm not a fan of this sticker. I need to take this sticker off. Oh, yeah, there's definitely something there. You can see it peeling off. Ugh. Okay. Take this peeling off. Oh my god, it's come back down. It's very difficult with one hand. I need to get my tripod, but it's in my garage at the moment. There you go. Fuck you and your fucking fucking. There you go. Look. Stainless steel. Look at that. It's proper nice chrome. He's a bit scratched. But that's how it is, I guess. Let's have a look what it says there. If it says anything. Can we forget it to focus? How good is the camera? There you go. Water resistant, 50 meters. Don't know what the other thing says. Let me autofocus. There you go. That is struggling, guys. That is very far away as well. Okay. I'll read it out anyway. I'll put it here and read it out. Water resistance, British design, Japan. AKT, made in China. Assembled in China. Stainless steel back. Okay. I'm actually gonna wear this now, see if it fits me. If not, you can always get a uh, chains taken out at H Samuel. All you do is show your receipt. All you do is show your receipt and they do it for free, they just take it out to however, however you want it. I feel like this one be way too big for me, so definitely. So this is definitely gonna need something taken out. Let me just show you now. Let me pause the video for one second. Okay guys, as you can see way too big way too big so what I'm seeing is here there's like some weird chain thing I'm seeing if it, you might be able to just tighten it you might not have to take any links out let me try to figure out if you can do that if not you might have to take links out which is just a headache but it's worth it so let me try see if there's any way to tighten this more because it does look like there's some weird setting thing there can you see there all them dots let's try figure this out Oh well, guys, to change your size, you would have to take it out of this hole, which is, I'm not sure how the hell I'm going to, I don't think I can do that myself, look at that, because I've tried pushing the metal, but it didn't do anything, so, either I'll have to take it to the shop or figure it out somehow, but I'm not comfortable comfortable with doing that, feels like it will snap or something, oh wait, you might, wait, no, there's a foil thing there, can you see at the end, curls, so I might just be able to just push it down and it might just come out. Might be just stuck on a wire there. Let's, have a, let's see if we can try that. Okay, so this is how you adjust it. Insert the fine tip tool into the hole in the clasp. Hole in the clasp. This is the clasp. Is it? No. So this is the clasp. Put in a hole. Yeah, that is way too complicated. Why did they make it like that? If bracelet is one, two, or three below, then proceed as indicated. No. Link adjustment. No. Actually, I have no idea, guys. It's more complicated than it should be, but at least this time it's user-friendly. You might be able to do it yourself, but I'm not comfortable with doing it. If anyone knows how to do it, let me know. Um, yeah. It does look like there's some way to do something here. But yeah. Anyways, guys, I really like this watch. You do get two-year warranty with it. Not doesn't cover accidental damage, but yeah. Don't like this noise, though. But yeah, that's okay. 
look how beautiful this watch is you would see for 30 well i paid 32 pounds because i got another extra 20 percent off so for 32 pounds you cannot go wrong at all like this is high quality like I really like it. Secondo is a good brand as well. It's not that bad of a brand. I really like the black watch I used to have. Everyone used to compliment that. This is very nice as well. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.